Hi everyone and welcome back to Queen Beans Collectibles. I thought it'd be a good it's time as any to actually show you guys where I keep my collectibles. Please forgive the rough filming. This is all going to be a very manual process today. So, in case you're curious, where do I keep a lot of my collectibles? Well, we are actually in my own bedroom and I use an old newspaper stamp tray and I've hung it on my wall and it's the perfect shelf for all of your little knickknacks and baubles and other fun things. And I thought, why not just kind of show you guys what it looks like and kind of show you more up close what I've been collecting. So some of this stuff I've had since I was literally a kid. I've had this for as long as I can remember. Some of it is so new, I literally got it yesterday. So you're gonna see there's a pretty big range. And we also have a train that comes by and tends to shake the walls pretty hard. So try not to judge me if things are a little crooked here. They, they kind of do their own thing uh, when it comes to that train rolling by. So let's begin. Way at the top are some of my favorites. I got a real love for Blue's Clues and they dropped these figures and I was obsessed and had to get them. And I found this adorable little stringy of ducks. Last time I went flea marketing, love those little guys. And let's start moving down. So I've got some Tsum Tsums, I've got Littlest Pet Shop, I've got Hatchimals, Real Littles, Shopkins, Crystal Babies, even some really odds and ends ones. Like these two little kitty cats right here, they came straight from a flea market and I think they're so cute, they're little thimbles. And if I go out more, we've got some different items and I mix in some weird stuff. So I've got like a lucky cat, I've got a Swarovski pufferfish who is adorable. I got this kitty cat holding a rose. I got some real odds and ends, but you're going to notice probably a good chunk of this is Hatchimals and Shopkins and Littlest Pet Shop. But when I say Littlest Pet Shop, we're not talking what most of you are used to seeing. We're talking vintage. I love vintage Littlest Pet Shop. It is some of the cutest stuff on the planet, if you ask me. If you couldn't tell already, this duck is one and so is this kitty cat. Now I'm gonna show you my other ones as well, but I've got to tell you, you're gonna notice a favoritism towards those vintage Littlest Pet Shops. Those are the ones I had a kid, as a kid and I love them. We also have these really interesting Dalmatians you'll see. They were a toy from Germany. I don't remember the name of them, but gosh, are they cute. Oh, and we've got, of course, Spotty Dottie for anyone who remembers her. Oh gosh, she's pretty too. Oh, and a really pretty glass kitty cat from my grandma. Got to mix in a little bit of fun stuff here and there. All right, so you've seen the first half mostly. Let's drop it down. And we're going to go to the second half. Now, one of my favorite things about the Vintage Littles Pet Shops is that they made babies. So look at these little baby kitties and the baby duck. Aren't they the cutest? They are seriously some of my favorites. I wish I could put spotlights in here because they would get some spotlights. Although then I'd feel bad and everybody should get them, so I'd have a lot of spotlights. Okay, lots of Shopkins, kind of fun stuff. I have one at arcades, um, an owl from my aunt. Oh, look at that little pet shop. I love her. She's another one of my favorites. Such a cutie pie. My sister gave me these. They're kind of just silly little erasers, but I just love them. They're so cute in there. And you'll notice Toy Story pops up a lot as well. I do love Toy Story a lot. And you'll see some cutie cars. I have some of those as well. More Toy Story. Another little guy from the arcade. Uh-oh, he had a friend. Sounds like the train must have got him. I'll have to look for him. More vintage Littles Pet Shops. More cutie cars. That Dalmatian is one of my favorite vintage finds and I just got her at a flea market and I was so thrilled. Such a score. I got this beautiful couple of kitty cats from my parents. I got another little Savorsky animal. This one's a little ducky. There's another one of those Dalmatians I was talking about. We got a little Figaro found at the dollar store. Absolutely love him. 
more vintage Littles Pet Shop. Same with there. I'm going to keep going and we have more Hatchimals. Oh gosh, I really do have a lot of vintage Littles Pet Shop. And more of those fun Dalmatians, Shopkins. <clears throat> but I really wanted to just let you guys see, you know, what it looks like in my actual house. And this is where I keep all of my small collectibles. So anything that is literally probably, let's call it three inches or under, is probably going to be sitting on this particular shelf. But if you think this is the end of my collections, you are sorely mistaken. So let's go to the next part of my house and I'll show you the next section. Part two is a lot smaller. I just cleared out this spot in I, the upper part of my closet. And I'm still trying to decide what exactly I want to do with it. Right now, we've got my Aristocats framed picture, my Plush pets, and a Periwinkle. Uh, we've got the Cheshire cat and some Aurora babies. This one looks just like my cat, Titus, and this one looks like my dog. Well, the dog we used to have, Goober. Rest in peace, Goober. And that's all I've gotten done on that one so far. But this is a work in progress. There's more to come. So don't think that's all I'm leaving there. This is definitely one of my smaller sections, but it's got some of my favorites, so I just have to show. So we've got my Totoro. I've got something called Squarety Cats. And if you don't know what Squarety Cats are, and you like cats, and you like plushies, go look them up. I promise you won't regret it. They are so cute. I'm actually thinking about ordering another one. And they've been discontinued for a long time. They used to be at Toys R Us. But I've kept mine, and then I'm always on the lookout for people who are reselling them. You'll also notice a for real friend, a little squishy. I got another Aurora pet. I really seem to like Aurora, because here's another one. Um, here's one of those little kitties that meows. And isn't going to do it right now, of course. that I've had since I was a kid, I absolutely love her. I really, really like the Precious Moments babies. So we've got the Precious Moments kitty. And we got the cat bus and the little puff puff from Spirited Away. And if we go down a little further, we got another Squirty cat. We've got this beautiful, now for anyone who remembers it, Limited 2 was an awesome store back in the day. And that is where I got this kitty cat probably almost 20 years ago. Probably more than 20 years ago. But I put her in a little Lala Loopsy like towel I found at the dollar store. And I just think she looks so cute. I couldn't help it. And then right below we've got a couple more white cats. One is a beanie baby. You're going to notice I have a real thing for cats. Especially white cats. Just really seem to like them. Not 100% sure as to why. And that's this particular shelf. But again, this is a smaller one, so we're going to make our way to <clears throat> where I keep my other collections. But I do also sporadically put some collectibles throughout the house to try to make it, you know, it's, a, it's still a, an adult's house. I just, you know, maybe have a few thousand toys. All right, guys, we're going to the next room. All right, guys, we've hit the holy grail. I have been trying since we moved in to designate one area for my collections, which I kind of am thinking is going to be this back closet in the guest room. Um, I'm still working on getting this configured correctly. I kind of like the way the top's coming out, though. So I'm going to get a little closer so you can see. So you're going to notice a lot of Beanie Babies, a lot of Shopkins. I got a for real friend. There's a Webkin. We got one of my Dalmatians from when I was a kid in the back. Build-A-Bears are hiding up there, as well as one of those little Thai dolls. I've got this little puppy from my sister and the ducks from also my sister and mom. There's a big old Aristocats cuddlies in the back. We got the Big Bang Theory plush, some more Shopkins, Beanie Babies, Pusheen. We've got another Build-A-Bear in the back that's a Shopkins Build-A-Bear. And then we've got my two inbox Barbies. One is from my mom, one is from my grandma. I'm not huge on Barbies, but these two are gorgeous and just the sentimental value behind them is everything to me. But that's that top part of my closet. That's kind of where I've gotten. I kind of want to make better shelves or maybe like get some more 
risers. I think if I did that, I could make this work. But right now, everything's just a little too crowded. And then if we start working our way down, you'll notice we recently moved. So there's a lot of boxes hiding around. But right here, I used to have this shelf hanging on the wall and it was super cute. But I may have only just kind of stuck a bunch of nails in the wall and hoped for the best. And that very clearly did not work and they fell down. So again, a spot I need to work on. I think I might just put some new shelves here. And once I do, I'll do a new video so you can see what they look like. But I at least wanted to show you guys my collection so you see, you know, what I like and what I'm out here looking for. And, you know, are you at the right page? Are you seeing what you want to see? Here are my Shadow High girls. I love them, love them, love them. Wish I had them all. But money doesn't come as easy as we'd like it to. Then we go down and we got lots of the littlest pet shop that are recent. So since these are taller, they don't fit in that shelf I have in the back. And these guys have to kind of sit on their own shelf. But these, oh gosh, I got so many and they're all my favorites. I try not to keep them and hoard them if, you know, I don't love them. And especially if I buy like a big lot when I'm thrifting or hunting around at antique stores, I always donate whatever the ones that I don't want back or du duplicates or whatever they may be because guess what your fellow hunters are going to appreciate that later trust me it's like it gives you good karma I get a bag I keep what I want and I donate the rest and I'm telling you every time I end up finding cool stuff it's good karma but okay that's that little shelf falls right below my plushy shelf and if we keep going down I've got my Bratz minis. Not as many as I'd like, but I'm going to go broke if I buy that many. But I really, really love them. And then we've got these beautiful Bratz in their spa. And I will take these dolls down one at a time in a moment so you can kind of see them better. But that's this top shelf. Now, there's one more set of stuff below it, and I'm going to show you that next, but I need to clear some stuff, so hold on. Okay, guys, we're on the lower part of the shelf now, so where we saw Bratz, Shadow High, Little's Pet Shop. We're going right below that. One of my most favorite recent finds were these Clickets. I don't know if anybody else had them as a kid, but I loved Clickets. Especially these little gals, they were so cute. And I'm sorry, this is so dark. I'm doing my best here, I promise. We've got all my Neopets, and I've got some new ones I need to put in here, but here's the ones I have so far. Here's my little Barbie pets. If you watched my other videos, you definitely recognize them. If we go down, I've got my Nanana -na -na Surprise. I have a real love for rubber ducks, so she just had to come home with me. I have a real thing also for thrifting for random dogs, so I know that's Barbie Extra, but it came in a lot, and I just really liked him. And this chewy little guy over here with his lettuce, I'm not even sure what he came from, but I sure do love him. And Blue's Clues, I love Blue's Clues so much, I will grab anything I can with Blue's Clues on it. This super cute Shopkins Kleenex box, I really want to use it, but the fiance keeps telling me that we should keep it in box because it's worth more, but look at how cute it is, I just want to open it. We've got our handbook on palace pets, so we are staying in the knowledge realm of who the palace pets go to. I've got my one little ham taro and boy do I wish I had more, but we don't too often find those thrifting. That was definitely a good thrifting find and I'm always looking for more, but who knows when that'll happen. We've got one of my prize possessions here, my Novi star in the box. Oh gosh, I really wanna open her. The temptation is real. Uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a losing battle. Every day I come in here and I say, I think I'm gonna open her. We've got my LOL OMG in the back. So I only have one Nana -na Surprise and one LOL OMG so far because I'm pretty hooked on Rainbow High and I'm not trying to lose my house um, in terms of money. So these little fellows are going to have to wait for friends to come along. We're, we're sticking pretty hard to the Rainbow High realm right now. We've got our Shopkins car. I love that little car. I think it's so cute. I've got, oh, excuse me, Chloe. I've got Polly Pockets that I've had since I was a kid with a little cat, like walking workout suit or whatever. Oh, I love these so much. I wish I would have kept more, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh-oh, here comes the assistant. We knew that was coming. 
He's so good at interrupting. All right. Now, I really just wanted to give you guys an up-close look at my different brats. So, I don't know the names of all my brats, and I should, but I don't. Or, I know the names, but not, like, their lines. I know this one was, like, the movie one that came with, like, a sequin dress that actually has, like, the wrist articulation and the rooted eyelashes. I know she's in rough shape. I've been watching a lot of, like, doll renovation videos, and I'm hoping to give it a shot and hope that I don't mess it up. Ah, so scary. I don't want to do that to my childhood dolls. But there's more to come on that. There's there's a solution to that problem. Oh, I'm so sorry, Chloe. Titus. All right. Well, he's going to make this easy. Okay. So we got another one of my... Well, you're also going to really notice I like Chloe a lot. Um, and she is one of the articulated ones that were like one of the newer ones. Um, I like her a lot. I don't love her as much as like my originals, but I certainly like her. And she's kind of wearing a mixture of old clothes and new clothes. Um, I kind of like it that way. I like to give the mixture, but I'm sure everybody else has a different opinion. Hate that their legs do that though. Woof, nothing more annoying. Okay, and we got another older doll here. I love her little Converse. And I can't remember her name either. I'm sure you guys can help me out with that, but. She's another one I've had since I was a kid. So she's one of the old school ones. No articulation, but God, who cares? They were the best. And then we have one more. We've got this Chloe. And she also, come on, is one of the new ones with the articulation. I really like the design of their clothes. I like like the sweet, like silliness of it. I just, they're so heavy compared to what they were and their feet are so hard just kind of overbearing but those are the brats I own currently now as you may have noticed in my thrift videos that I keep finding brats and I just have to bring them home with me um because I'm just gonna figure out how to restore them I'm determined so we just recently found this beautiful gem here looks like she still even has like mostly her factory hair right there but another, uh, obviously another Chloe, because I have no taste. I just pick the same thing over and over. But I found her, and I just, uh, I'm so excited about her. So I'm going to give her a good clean up. And then she can join the others over here. There's obviously a little pile over here of unboxing I need to get to. We haven't gotten that far yet. But the other thing we got, which I thought was so cool. For those of you who know what Once Upon a Child is, you know that sometimes you hit the Holy Grail. And I think that's what I did this time. This was all sealed up, this Barbie bag here. It was labeled as $10. Oh, sorry for the delay there, guys. Titus really was trying to get more involved than he needed to be. So, unveiling of this $10 bag of brats. It doesn't want to open. Come on. Ta-da! I was so excited. I paid like $10 for these. They're in rough shape. Don't get me wrong. One of them's had a haircut. She needs some love. But I just was like, wow, what a deal. What a bunch of cool old school brats. None of which I have. And there were even some babies hiding in here. And plus, look at all the clothes it came with. They even have the little pillows. I was like, no way. I'm sure not all of this is Bratz. I mean, there's definitely some weird stuff thrown in. But, I mean, come on. Look at all this cool stuff. Who doesn't recognize the Bratz water bottles? Who doesn't recognize them? You're lying. Oh, I just think this is so cool. And even if there's stuff I don't want, like I said, like I'm gonna go through it, I'm gonna clean it up. Whatever I keep, I keep. And whatever goes, I'm gonna donate it. I'm gonna pass it on to the next collector. I, I like that we can all, you know, help each other out. Let's have fun. You know, if we're all out here taking every doll off the shelf before anybody else can get their hands on it, what fun is that? I don't think it's fun. That's just me. Okay, I'm going to put them back in all messy like they were because I am going to clean them up as well as this little gal right here. 
um, and we're gonna get those in order. I don't know if I'm gonna do a restoration video because I've never done these yet. So that could be a disaster, um, but I'll at least show you guys what they look like after. And then we also have one more unboxing. We're actually two more unboxings we're gonna be doing. This lovely, beautiful Coco from Rainbow High we're gonna unbox. And then we actually have some Neopets to unbox, which I think is super duper cool. So I am gonna end this year. You guys have really seen the majority of my collection. I've got a few more Rainbow Highs. I'm working on their hair right now. Like I've got Robin out there. I've got Gabriella. I've got a few other things that are in the works, so they're not on these display shelves yet, but they're going to be. And once I get these brats done, oh man, they're going to be having a field day. They're going to be having a party. We, we're going to go from four brats to double that. We're probably going to go to like dang near eight, which is awesome. So that's my collection, guys. I, I hope it was something different for you to see. I have a really bizarre collection. I'm kind of all over the board. I would say my favorites are like Neopets, Bratz, Shopkins. Those are definitely my favorites. But obviously, I, I'm all over the place. So I hope you guys enjoyed my collection. I hope I was able to show you guys a few cool things. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe, like, comment. I'm just happy you guys are here. So keep enjoying this doll, to doll and toy collecting world with me. And I'll see you guys on the next one.